the internal energy of a real gas is so it's about a real gas not an ideal gas so for real gas the internal energy it's also called the total energy is equal to the sum of the intermolecular potential energy which arises from uh, uh, the forces between particles and the total random kinetic energy of the particles which arises from uh, uh, the random motion so it's d and if we uh, consider an ideal gas for ideal uh, it's, it's a model actually so that uh, the intermolecular potential energy energy is negligible is zero so that the total energy or uh, the internal energy is equal to uh, just uh, the total random kinetic energy of the particles the next question two containers x and y are filled with an ideal gas at the same pressure so uh, pressure of x is equal to pressure of y the volume of x is four times the volume of y so volume of x is four times the volume of y the, te uh, the temperature of x is 327 and the temperature of y is 27 degrees celsius and about temperatures if you meet change in temperature it may be in celsius or kelvin it doesn't matter because it's the same change in temperature is 300 degrees celsius and also 300 kelvins but if you meet just temperature in some formula it must be in kelvins only so we should convert it in into kelvins uh, and we should do what just plus 273 and you uh, see that temperature of x becomes 600 kelvins and temperature of y becomes just 300 kelvins and we need a ratio amount of substance in x to amount of substance substance in y amount of substance it's about what it's about number of moles and how to connect all these uh, uh, parameters of an ideal gas uh, to use an ideal gas uh, uh, equation uh, an equation for ideal gas which states that pv is nrt and we can write this equation uh, for x and for y and consider it uh, like a simultaneous equations and to get the required ratio we can do what just divide both uh, both sides the left hand side and the right hand side sides uh, so that to get px vx over py vy and is equal to nx over ny and tx over ty and actually this is required and px py are equal so it's just one uh, vx vx over vy is four so the left hand side becomes just four and x over and y is required and tx over ty tx over ty it's two hence we can see that nx over and y it's two so c is correct and that's all for this question